Hello, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily convert dinars or money in game into influence. I'm going to show you how you can easily convert this using one form of like conversion and for influence because a lot of times your influence is negatively impacted by it could be trial by jury or law speakers where if you're not a high enough charm or a high enough clan you could have major deductions on your influence which could be a major issue and this problem especially when you're well established with me with a lot of dinars and a lot of money to spend on who knows what or and whatever you want to spend on especially when you follow the most profitable workshop guide which i will which i have on my channel which you should definitely check out hint hint but anyways, um, you can easily convert your dinars into influence. This is an extremely easy method that I will be going over. So let's just hop right into it. And before I start, actually, let's go over what influence does. Influence allows you to vote on policies and to vote on things within the your kingdom. For example, if I go to the kingdom tab, let's load into the kingdom tab real quick. Do you want to resolve the debasement of the currency decision? Like, there's a whole bunch of different policies, which I'll go over in a bit, but I have negative influence. So, with negative influence, I'm not going to be able to vote on this proposal. But with this method of increasing influence, I'll be able to farm enough influence in order to start being active in town politics and maybe taking away this trial by jury and law speakers that reduce my influence influence so i'm just gonna have to abstain because there's nothing i can possibly do since i don't have the influence and while we load that influence can help you decide and remove all these policies as you can see 50 influence and a lot of times it's super hard to get influence in the game so this is definitely going to be one of the best methods to get influence for example we can enact all these different policies that could help us or hurt us but anyways it's up for us to see which ones are the absolute best kingdom policies to have and what we should do about them but enough of the rambling let's just hop into the method of increasing influence so what you want to do is go to all these individual cities preferably around a town what you want to do you recruit troops don't spend your money on the major ones because that's just going to be a waste of money make sure you get imperial recruits and what you want to do go to as many villages as possible we'll go to Cantrion and then Spadia will recruit troops more imperial recruits we'll just go to every single village around here getting all the imperial troops we possibly can so we'll just collect in a little area uh, they don't have any and I don't feel like spending money more money than I should because this wants to be an effective method and for 20 dinars you get a certain amount of influence and let me show you how let me show you how so they don't have any any recruits here so what we're going to do is just take the recruits that we do have after we go to Tavia first. Let's see if they have any recruits there to try to get as much as possible. So let's recruit troops. Ah, they have two. So let's recruit those troops. My party is nearly full anyways. I thought that was 45 bandits for a second. But anyways, so we have 45 imperial recruits. And keep in mind, we have negative 25-24 influence. So what are you going to want to do when you have these recruits? First, go to the nearest town slash city, whatever you want to call it. Go to go to the keep and keep in mind this only works if you're a vassal of the current clan that you're in which is extremely important because if you're not in a clan or anything you won't be able to get influence that's just basics but what you want to do is click donate troops to the garrison scroll down until you have your cheap old imperial recruits and dump your imperial recruits off so we'll dump off about half of them and so that's going to be like four of them and let's see, once we hit done, let's see what happens to our influence. It's at negative 24 right now. Once we hit done, we can see that our influence increased by 2. What you want to do now is that you want to go through and just spend 20 dinars on recruits all around the area. And in places that need more troops in their garrison, like let's look at Lysero. See, they have plenty of defenders. They have 
to 532 defenders. But in places that don't have a lot of defenders and you donate troops to those places that have just been attacked and stuff, they are going to grant you the most possible influence. But this is by far the best method to convert your money into influence and so far it's the only method that I know of to convert your method into in convert your money into influence. So basically what you're doing is I'm going to summarize the entire thing for you is go to villages, get imperial recruits, Azariah recruits, Sturgeon, Batanian, Vlandian, Kurgit, um, South Empire, just Empire recruits, any kind of recruits, Azariah, yeah, like I said, Azariah, Kuzai, Sturgia, Batania, Vlandia, any recruits and go to the town or whatever vassal or whatever you are a vassal of go to that town give the recruits to the garrison and therefore the 20 dinars you spend on the recruits translates into influence that you spend by that you get by donating troops to the garrison and this is by far one of the easiest methods to increase your dinars or not increase your dinars but increase your influence by just simply converting your money into influence it's the easiest method doesn't take that long either to grind out, and you can easily reform our methods so you can start gaining influence passively, passively over time through government policies, through kingdom policies. Anyways, that's about concludes the video. Thank you guys. Thank you to every single one of y'all for watching. I highly appreciate you watching the video. I really do. Um, I'm really happy that my channel is growing that it is. I just would like to say that I really love making videos for y'all and I really just love being a YouTuber and you guys make me want to keep doing it and it's just the absolute best. And if you made it this far, truly thank you for watching the entire video. I could not be happier that you are. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and feel free to check out all my other videos which will be shown on the screen right here I believe if I do manage to put an end screen in. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been Troblo.